Is Tom Cruise pushing his luck with death-defying stunts? At 62, the Hollywood icon shows no signs of slowing down, but is he taking things too far? In today's video, we're diving into the behind-the-scenes battle over Tom's jaw-dropping stunt at the Paris Olympics and why his closest allies are growing increasingly concerned. The world watched in awe as Tom Cruise performed yet another incredible stunt at the Paris Olympics closing ceremony. This time, the action star descended from the roof of the Stade de France in a breathtaking display of courage and skill. But what the cameras didn't show was the tension and drama unfolding behind the scenes. Tom Cruise has built a career on his willingness to go where few others dare. From hanging off the side of planes to scaling the world's tallest buildings, he's always insisted on doing his own stunts, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. But with age comes added risk, and insiders are increasingly worried that Tom's thrill-seeking ways could lead to disaster. For the Paris Olympics closing ceremony, Tom was strapped into a harness and flung himself off a ledge in front of thousands of fans. The stunt took 18 months of meticulous planning, but according to sources, it was almost derailed by a fierce disagreement between Tom and the producers. The issue? The safety ropes. Tom believed that the visible safety ropes were holding him back, preventing him from reaching the speed he wanted. He was adamant that the stunt needed to be more realistic, more dangerous. But his team, understandably, had other concerns. They knew that one miscalculation could have tragic consequences. Tom's history of dangerous stunts isn't without its close calls. In 2017, he broke his ankle during a failed building jump while filming Mission Impossible 6. And yet, despite these risks, he remains undeterred. As one insider put it, Tom knows the risks involved and he doesn't care. He truly believes he is larger than life. The stunt went off without a hitch, but the concern among Tom's inner circle is growing. They're worried that his relentless pursuit of bigger, bolder stunts will eventually catch up with him. After the jump, Tom was seen greeting fans, even sharing a viral moment where a woman tried to kiss him on the cheek, seemingly unfazed by the dangers he had just faced. Following the stunt, Tom was handed the five-ringed Olympic flag by gymnast Simone Biles and the mayor of Los Angeles, which he then loaded onto a waiting motorcycle. In true Tom Cruise fashion, he didn't just ride out of the stadium, he stood up on the vehicle, driving out like a scene straight out of a movie. As the handover ceremony transitioned to Los Angeles, the celebrations continued with live performances from California natives Red Hot Chili Peppers, Billie Eilish, and Snoop Dogg. But while the world enjoyed the spectacle, those closest to Tom couldn't shake the nagging fear that one day, one of these stunts might be his last. So, what's next for Tom Cruise? Will he finally heed the warnings of his inner circle, or will his passion for pushing the limits continue to drive him to new heights? Only time will tell. That's a wrap for today's video. If you enjoyed this deep dive, give us a thumbs up, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. For more exclusive updates on Hollywood's biggest stars, subscribe to AU News.